Okay guys, so as I'm editing this video, I did realize the whole video I was saying winter 2023. As you guys can probably tell by the date, we are closer to 2024. So disregard me saying winter 2023 and pretend I'm saying winter 2024. With that being said, enjoy the video. What is up everybody? My name is Eric Valdez and I am back with another YouTube video. If you are new here, welcome to the channel. And if you've been here, thank you guys for coming back and watching another video. In this video, I have something special for you guys because it's a video that I've been kind of creating and wanting to release. And I think now is the time to release a video like this because we are entering the winter season. With that being said, this video is primarily based if you live in harsher weather conditions because this video is going to be over five jackets that you need for winter 2023. With that being said, all of these picks that I've chosen for you guys are all based on what I like and some things I've seen on the internet that I think a lot of people have seen also, but some of these jackets are primarily things that I like. With that being said, let's hop into the first jacket that I, that I think you need for winter 2023. Okay guys, so the first jacket that I have chosen for jackets that you may need for winter 2023 is going to be a simple down jacket. When it comes to down jackets, I think they add a lot of versatility in a wardrobe and have amazing colors. Brands like Arcteryx, Grimichi, North Face, and even other brands such as Eddie Bauer make down jackets that I think are perfect for the winter. A down jacket really provides a lot of warmth and comfort, but also kind of gives you a little flair depending on what you like. A lot of us are probably familiar with the Arcteryx jacket, and they make these flashy bright colors, which I'm personally not a fan of, but I think look nice depending on how you style it. With that being said, the down jacket not only provides extreme warmth, but also keeps you looking good during the winter season. Some of my favorite ones that I have seen this year are probably going to be the Grimichi down jacket. I really like the details and qualities that they have. And of course, any outdoor brand, really, whether it's Eddie Bauer, like I said, North Face or Patagonia, um, and I'm sure there's some that I'm missing in there, they all make some pretty nice down jackets that are very durable and will last you a long time during the winter season. The nice little designs that they make and the different qualities that different brands use are very nice because you can really choose one that you like and put it in your wardrobe and style it. The down jacket is just a simple jacket that is very easy to find for a pretty affordable price depending on which brand you're looking at. And once you add it into your collection, you won't want to stop wearing it. I do have one and it's the Eddie Bauer down jacket. It's in an orange colorway and it fits very good and the design and the warmth that it provides for me during the colder months is very nice. I would definitely recommend looking into a down jacket because they do keep you warm and they look very good depending on your style. And the best thing about it is that there is a style for everyone. Whether you like this one and you don't like that one, you can always find one at the very nice color and very nice look to it. With that being said guys, let's hop into the next jacket that I think you need for winter 2023. The next jacket slash coat that I've added in jackets that you need for winter 2023 is going to be a nice simple trench coat. A trench coat is probably one of my favorite things to do during the winter because it looks very good, adds a lot of comfort and style to your wardrobe. I do have one in a natural beige color and it looks very good and although I don't wear it as much, I do look forward to wearing it a lot more this winter because it's just a nice piece that can elevate your outfit. These you can find secondhand again on eBay, Grell, Depop and things of that sort for a very affordable price. Another thing that I like about the trench coat is it covers depending on how long you get it. It does cover from usually obviously your shoulders down to your knees and I've even seen some that are pretty long that almost get down to your ankle. And I think this is a nice thing to have during the winter especially if you live in a colder area like I do. This adds a lot of durability, comfort and style to your wardrobe again. I do recommend finding one that is just a neutral color. I think it fits best and it looks good with many different outfits. The one I have goes with all kinds of colors because it is just a neutral color. Another thing is trench coats de de definitely come in different qualities um, and materials. One of my favorite ones that I hope to pick up this winter is a nice green wool one. 
Another thing that I really do love about the trench coat is going to be that the fact that most of them are very, very lightweight. This will obviously vary depending on the brand and material that you are getting the trench coat of. And mine tends to be very lightweight and is made of a nice fabric that definitely keeps me warm during the winter months. Another thing that I need to add about the trench coat is the fact that you are able to layer and test around with different styles and outfits. I think that is something everyone should do during the colder months to kind of see what you like and what you don't like. Personally, I'm looking forward to wearing my trench coat and testing the waters when it comes to layering. I don't do too much layering when it comes to winter and that's something that I want to kind of dive into and just play around with. With that being said, let's hop into the next jacket on my list. The next jacket that I have on my list for jackets that you need winter 2023 is going to be the Eddie Bauer Skyliner jacket. I recently just tried this jacket on and it's probably one of my favorite jackets that I've put on in a very long time now. The reason being is the overall quality and attention to detail that Eddie Bauer has done to this jacket. With that being said, they have done a lot of collaborations with different brands when it comes to the Skyliner jacket that they've made. Brands like Jown, Buck Mason, and Huckberry have all made their own little jacket with Eddie Bauer and they're all very, very nice. One thing that I do want to point out is how well the interior is built and the warmth that it adds for the winter season. The colors that they also choose to do these jackets in are amazing and the one with Buck Mason is probably one of my favorite because of the natural neutral tone that it has. It's a very free flowing jacket that adds a nice style to, to something that looks so vintage. Another thing about the Eddie Bauer jacket is that it does have a polyester build which makes it easy to throw sweaters or hoodies underneath the jacket giving you extra warmth and style along with being able to layer it. The Eddie Bauer Skyliner jacket is definitely a jacket that I'm going to be adding into my wardrobe for many reasons. The fact that it has the retro look is nice, the colors are very easy to style and it's very affordable right now because they are on sale. I don't think the Buck Mason or the Huckberry ones are on sale, but the base Eddie Bauer Skyliner jacket is on sale, so that makes it even nicer to try to pick up right now. With that being said, let's hop into the next jacket that you need for winter 2023. Okay guys, so the next jacket that I'm going to be talking about is going to be the Levi Denim jacket. And although this is probably going to be a toss up for many of you guys, the Levi denim jacket for me has been awesome to wear during the winter months. Although I have been lucky this December by getting some very nice days and we haven't really had a lot of snow, I still think that the denim jacket provides a big layer of comfort for you during the colder season. The Levi denim jacket also looks very good when styling it the way that you want. I personally do have one and it's just a nice simple piece that I think elevates my outfit but can also kind of look casual depending on how you style it. The Levi denim jacket is very thick and very nice during the winter months and the overall color to me is very nice. The color that I have is a lighter wash denim and I think is perfect because it goes with a lot of things that I like to wear. Along with the Eddie Bauer jacket, the Levi denim definitely has a retro vintage look to it that I personally love during the colder months because that just seems on like what I'm going for as of lately, which is really all entitled to your own opinion. Like I said guys, the Levi denim jacket works perfect for me during the winter and I could definitely see a lot of people rocking this during the colder months. With that being said, let's hop into the last jacket that you guys need for winter 2023. The last jacket that I'm going to be adding into my list is a jacket that definitely needs no introduction when it comes to jackets and that is going to be the Carhartt Detroit jacket. A lot of you guys already probably know of this jacket, but I think it's still a good jacket to add for people who are still just getting into their whole fashion thing. When I first started getting into fashion and discovering things that I like, especially when it came to clothing and how to style it, the Carhartt Detroit jacket was something that caught my eye immediately. And maybe that was just because it was always everywhere, but I definitely had a relationship to it and I did pick up a couple of Carhartt Detroit jackets, but ended up getting rid of them just because I kind of grew away from them. But with that being said, someone who is just now getting into fashion will probably obviously like the Detroit Carhartt jacket because it looks very nice, has amazing colors, and that vintage feel and overall retro look to it is pretty amazing. Another thing about the Carhartt Detroit jacket 
is that we all tend to gravitate to things we see online, whether it's mood boards, fit pages, or just a simple trend that we see. We always like to hop on it because we think it looks good. And that's just the way that society, especially the fashion community works. You see something, you like it, you get it, you wear it, and it just gets popular and bigger and bigger and bigger. And that is what happened with the Carter Detroit jacket. With that being said, I still do think that the Carhartt Detroit jacket is a very nice jacket with amazing detail that will keep you warm during the winter months and is why I think that overall the Carhartt Detroit jacket is a timeless piece. The Carhartt Detroit jacket is a perfect option for anyone who likes a jacket that has a workwear feel and wants to stay warm along with looking good while styling it different ways. My overall reaction and thought to the Carhartt Detroit jacket is that it is a perfect option for anyone who has never owned one. Along with that, this is a perfect option for anyone who wants to look stylish yet have that comfort and warmth for the winter months. I think this is a good stopping point to my top 5 jackets for winter 2023. Let me know down in the comment section if there are any jackets that I missed and let me know how you guys feel about my overall list. With that being said, thank you guys for watching another video. Feel free to subscribe and leave a like also as I'm trying to hit 500. And you guys have been showing tremendous love. So appreciate all of you guys. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.